Today I'm making a black bean chili. Now the black bean chili is actually a vegetarian recipe, but we're gonna build in a really deep flavor profile, starting with mushrooms. This is a pound of white mushrooms. We're gonna pulse them in the food processor, help grind them down. They'll melt into the chili, but they add an unbelievable heft and depth of flavor. So I washed and trimmed these already. I'm just gonna break them into pieces as I add them to the food processor. And the stems are included. I like breaking the stems apart, but I did trim the bottoms. All right, now lid on. I'm gonna process these ah, about 10 times. You just want these coarsely chopped. All right, there we go. All right. That's great, gonna leave these in the food processor. Let's move over to the cooking pot. Here I have a nice big Dutch oven and we're gonna start off with some spices and not even chili powder necessarily. We're gonna start off with some mustard seeds and add a tablespoon of mustard seeds right to the pot. We're gonna add some cumin seeds, two teaspoons of cumin seeds. All right, time to head to the stove. We're gonna toast these spices over medium heat. That just takes about a minute. You can tell they're toasted because you'll smell it. Mmm, I can start to smell those mustard seeds and that cumin. Now I'm gonna add some vegetable oil, about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now we're gonna add a chopped onion and those processed mushrooms. All right, I'm gonna stir it all in, make sure everything is evenly combined. And then the trick here, is to actually cover the pot and let this cook covered for about five minutes. Let the mushrooms and onions release their liquid and then we can start reducing down the flavors. Oh, it's been five minutes. You can see all that liquid has come out of the mushrooms and the onions, which is perfect, because now we can reduce that liquid and start to build a nice hearty flavor for the stew. So we're gonna let these brown uncovered. It takes about five or 10 minutes. Uh, it, the recipe says until the mixture gets brown. I've actually found that what happens is the bottom of the pot gets brown, and that font is the flavor you're looking for. Want more stories and recipes from Cook's Country for free? Then sign up for the Cook's Country email newsletter. Our free newsletter takes you behind the scenes with the people and the recipes changing the way America cooks. Get exclusive tips, seasonal recipes, product reviews, and more delivered straight to your inbox. Visit cookscountry.com and sign up for free. Let's check on that browning on the bottom of the pot. The color of the mushrooms and the onions has gotten a lot darker. And we're just gonna scrape up the fond that's been forming on the bottom of this pot. All right, that's looking good. Have a little bit of time to prep the last few ingredients for the chili. Now this is chipotle. These are canned chipotles. And a chipotle is just a smoked jalapeno that's then soaked in an adobo sauce. So I have one chipotle here. You want about a tablespoon of this. More if you like it spicy, less if you don't like it too spicy. All right, so here's my chipotle and adobo, about a tablespoon, that looks like a little more than a tablespoon, so this batch might be on the spicy side. And some garlic, I'm gonna press the garlic right into the pot. I'm using all the chipotle today, it's gonna be a spicy batch. Right into the pot, and here I have the nine cloves of garlic. You notice this garlic looks a little translucent, that's because I bought the peeled stuff and I keep it in the freezer. That just prevents the peeled garlic from getting good and moldy. And then when you pull it out, you let it thaw. It's perfect for an application like this. But when it thaws, it has a little bit of that translucent color. Mmm, I can smell the garlic and the chipotle. Now time for the chili powder. You want three tablespoons of chili powder. You just wanna cook that again, another 30 seconds to a minute till you can smell it. Mmm, oh, that's good. Now time for the liquids. We're gonna add two and a half cups of water and two and a half cups of vegetable broth. Again, keeping this vegetarian. We're gonna add two bay leaves, a little bit of brown sugar, just a tablespoon of brown sugar. And this is another secret ingredient that's great when you're making black bean chili. It's baking soda. Now the baking soda helps the chili have that nice dark color. If you don't add it, you'll notice that your black bean chili turns out a little gray. Uh, so just a little goes a long way, just an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. 
All right, now the star of the show, the black beans. This is a pound of dried black beans. Now we're gonna add them right to the Dutch oven. Now we're gonna bring this to the simmer. We're actually gonna cook it in the oven. We're gonna cook this for about an hour. Then we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, now it's not done yet, but you can see the black beans have started to cook down. Now it's time to add some bell peppers. This is two bell peppers cut into half inch pieces. If you added them at the beginning, they would just disintegrate by the time the chili was done cooking. So that's why we're adding them part way through. Also gonna add a big old can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. All right, we're gonna stir this into the chili. Uh, we're gonna put the lid back on. It's gonna go back in the oven for another hour until the beans are good and tender. That chili should be done cooking by now. Let's take a good look. Ooh, that was a good slam on the oven door. Sorry, Mr. Oven. Oh, oh, oh. It's so fun to note how the smells change as the chili keeps on cooking. It has a much more complex smell. Oh, you can see those peppers have cooked in. Those tomatoes have become part of the sauce. Just wanna taste it and make sure those beans are tender. That's when you know the chili's done. Mmm, so good every time. All right, the bay leaves are on top. No digging around, let's get those out of there. And in goes a whole bunch of fresh chopped cilantro, about half a cup. Man, that smells good. I'm gonna let this sit over here for a little bit, put the lid back on, keep it warm. All right, time to make a nice looking bowl of chili. Oh, look at this. It has the perfect consistency. Now this chili holds like a dream once it's cooked, but you might have to loosen it up with a little extra water or even vegetable broth, because it has a tendency to thicken as it sits. Now all chili toppings are welcome here. I'm gonna stick with the standard, a little bit of sour cream. Oh, a little more sour cream. Mmm. Some tomatoes, nice fresh color, and a nice burst of acidity some scallions, and a lime wedge. I'm gonna squeeze this lime right over the top. Oh, yeah. All right, going into the chili. Mmm, the beans are perfectly cooked through, but not mushy, and there's layers of flavor. Little bit of heat. I added a little extra heat, as you know, so I like it a little on the spicy side. Man, that's good. Thanks for watching. What'd you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're excited to cook this week. You can get today's recipes and more for free at our website.